Hey everyone, it's Eric Thor here and in today's video I'll be going up to complete strangers with one goal to try to figure out their personality type. See if you can try to figure out their personality type with me and let's explore the 16 personalities in a more direct and hands-on way. Cool, Should okay. Yes, please, thanks. <laughs> of course, of course. So I'm going to guess that you are more of an extrovert, so uh, more initiative taking, more outgoing. Uh, I'm going to guess that you are uh, uh, high in openness to experience, trying out new things, going to new places, discussing ideas. Uh, I'm going to guess that you're more thinking, so more logical in how you approach things, uh, more argumentative. Uh, and uh, more critical in your approach to things. And lastly, I'm gonna guess that you are more easygoing and more adaptable, so more uh, flexible, see different point of views, change your mind often, uh, look at the other side. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty spot on, That's yeah. Awesome. But the thing about the um, extroverted, I think I'm more introverted, but I learned my skills being extroverted along the way huh. by just looking at people, how they behave. And uh, I think because I didn't, um, yeah, I wasn't very pleased me being an introvert yeah. person. So that's fair yeah. enough. It can change over time. That's yeah, kind of what correct. I see right now as well. Yeah. So I go based on what I see and how yeah, you are today. It's very, it's very good. It's, it's spot on. I think you should write my uh, Tinder, uh, Tinder uh, bio. Yeah. <laughs> no, but really good job. Yeah, oh, cool. Uh, that would be the ENTP, uh, the inventor or debater, they're sometimes known as. Yeah. Uh, so they're known for being quite enthusiastic, uh, for uh, being, uh, well, good at debating uh, and being very quite inventive, like coming up with new ideas. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, you, yeah. also because my uh, sign is uh, Libra. Right, right. I don't want to get too much in the zodiac signs, but yeah, that's actually what it is as well, your description of it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, pretty uh, good. Uh, would I be allowed to try to guess you as well? Okay, let's go. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to guess that you're more of an introvert. Uh, you think before you speak. Uh, and uh, you prefer things to be more slow and methodical. I'm going to guess that you are uh, more of a thinking type as well. So also more logical in how you approach things. And I'm going to say that you are more of a judging type. That means you're more conscientious. Uh, you like to have a goal or a plan or a structure to how you do things. And the last one, I am doubting. I think you are more open to experience. That means uh, uh, new ideas, changing your mind, seeing another point of view, being original, thinking outside the box. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I think so. How do you see it? Uh, based on body language, how you smile, how you look at people with your eyes, things like that, facial expressions. So it can be wrong. I'm not always right. Uh, some people are easier than others as well. Uh, and some people are in the middle because you're not always, you don't always have a strong preference for all of these things. Yeah, so. yeah. well, it uh, kind of works, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Uh, so your type would be known as the strategist. Some people call it the mastermind, but that doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> probably mastermind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely, the mastermind. that's the right choice of words for you. <laughs> yes. I'll go for the mastermind. Yeah. yeah, it's mainly for your skill in planning, for uh, thinking of the future, and uh, for thinking far ahead, and for being visionary, like having original ideas, and uh, yeah, being very theoretical, philosophical, and uh, good with systems. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, systems, yeah, maybe, maybe uh, it is. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, cool. Well, thank you both so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, how, reading. how long have you been together? Uh, we're, <laughs> not, we're not together. <laughs> we're just oh, you're not together. No. Uh, <laughs> friends. Yes. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, how long have you known each other? I guess we've known each other for a couple of... Six years, I think. Six years? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. yeah. Are you both from <laughs> here or? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much again. You're welcome. Thank you. So I'm going to uh, guess that you are more of an introvert. So you like to think before you speak. Uh, you get energy from being by yourself, and you're more reflective in how you approach things. I think that's that's right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm also gonna guess that uh, you are more of an intuitive. Uh, that would mean uh, you're more. No, I changed my mind. I think you're more uh, practical, more down to earth, yeah. and uh, uh, that you are more uh, about being dependable and being reliable. Yeah. 
that's yeah. yeah it's good you change your mind yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly i was i was about to say yeah. yes i am i am pretty much that yeah cool. uh, i'm also gonna guess that you are more of a feeling type uh, so people oriented compassionate uh, see other people's point of view easily yeah <laughs> I, I look at body language, uh, ah, okay. eye contact, uh, facial expressions, things like that. Okay. So, nice. Uh, nice. And uh, the last one, I'm gonna guess that you are more of a judging type, more conscientious, more planning, more um, goal-oriented in a sense of uh, you want to have a structure and organization to how you do things. Yeah, that's yeah. right too. Yeah. yeah, good job. Yes, wow. I am. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So uh, that would make you the ISFJ personality type uh, in the MBTI or 16 personalities. Uh, so that means uh, you're a person that, uh, uh, yeah, people consider you to be very loyal, dependable. They know you to be a good listener. Yeah. Uh, they know you to be very caring and giving towards others. I can so be that. yeah, I can also be the opposite, so but I can totally be that. Yeah. 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 The general thing is in flow, you'd be like that, and in stress, you'd be the opposite. Yeah, <laughs> that's totally true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Yes, thank you. Uh, for you, uh, try to guess you as well? Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to guess that you are more extroverted. Uh, so uh, you take more initiative in social settings, and you're more outgoing. Uh, and I'm going to guess that you are also more practical in how you approach things, uh, and more down to earth, uh, more connected to nature and to uh, yeah, the here and now. Yeah. Uh, I'm also going to guess that uh, you are more uh, thinking, I'd say. I'm not sure though. I think you're more thinking, so more logical in how you approach things, uh, uh, more critical and more likely to argue uh, the other point of view. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> I'm yeah, the here and now part, that's new, but uh -huh. it's because I'm older, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> I that's was fun. all over the place, but I think, yeah. Huh. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, so and, uh, the last one, I'd say you're more easygoing and more adaptable compared to her then. Uh, you'd be more flexible, go with the flow more in a sense. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Right. Definitely. Yeah. That's cool. So that's the ESFP personality type. Okay. Uh, so they're known to be... Uh, yeah, very connected to uh, nature, to their body, to the physical world, to doing things, more uh, about taking action, uh, need to have stimulation and energy. Uh, and uh, they tend to be, uh, they can be quite athletic in how they approach things. Uh, athletic? Yeah, they can be, yeah. I'd like to think that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that's true, but it's fine. It's good to hear. <laughs> and uh, more individualistic, uh, so march to the beach of their own drum. Mm -hmm and uh, quite people oriented as well like uh, like being around people yeah, yeah. well the, yeah it's also my work yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. true yeah. yeah what do you do i'm a documentary director oh wow that's and really filmmaker cool. yeah huh that's uh, way more professional than what i do yeah so i have my channel on the mbti uh so those are 16 personality types mm -hmm. and uh, i uh, do a lot of studies on personality and people try to get people more connected to each other so reflecting on who they are and more connected to themselves. Nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Thank you so much, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're an extrovert, uh, so I think that means you get energy from being on the outside and engaging with the outer world. Um, not necessarily. Um, I'm kind of more, I do spend a lot of my time inside. I spend all my energy when I'm outside at work. I do like interacting with people, but I'm very limited on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll obviously socialize. I'm not too bad with strangers, but by God, if I don't have my alone time, I'll be very upset. <laughs> Some people are social sprint runners, which means that they can be super social for a limited amount of time and then they need more time to rest up that, because yeah, of that. That makes sense <laughs> for me, definitely. Um, no, I'll always be like that, even on holiday. Now, uh, obviously at the moment, I'll be fine walking anywhere, but then sometimes I'll just, my battery is gone yeah. and I can't talk to strangers at all. So you've caught me at a good time, <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> definitely. Enough. Uh, I'm also going to guess that you are more of a judging type, uh, so that means you're more goal-oriented, more organized, more structured, you make decisions quite easily. Um, I would say, I'd say I make decisions very easily, I'm definitely goal-oriented, but getting there, I'm not very persistent, I can be a bit procrastinating uh -huh. sometimes, but yeah, definitely very stubborn, judging <laughs> straight to the point. Right, huh. interesting. Uh, I will say that uh, I think you're on the middle between feeling and thinking. I think you are more feeling, probably, like more compassionate, more people-oriented. Uh, uh, I'd say I'm like directly 50-50. I'm very compassionate, but I'm very like logical. You yeah. know, I, I view very objective points. Yeah. So I'd say you're actually very right with that. Yeah. 
that's cool uh, and the last one is I'd say you're more intuitive like uh, you have a big imagination uh, you are uh, theoretical you like discussing new ideas and viewpoints going to new places trying new things yeah that's a hundred percent correct definitely that's <laughs> you awesome found it all right <laughs> yeah, so that would make you then the introverted intuitive uh, feeling ish and uh, uh, yeah uh, judging uh, but you seem a bit in the middle of those yeah, two so. so INFJ or INFP okay that's pretty interesting I've always wondered because I've had so many people be like what's your personality type but I had no idea so <laughs> INFJ is it yeah that would be that one you okay. can always take a test afterwards and check it out yeah, later yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I try for you as well yeah sure awesome uh, so I will start by saying that you are more of a perceiving type then I'd guess that you're more easygoing more adaptable more flexible in how you approach things I try to be like on the surface yes but um in my own mind I'd be going 90 but oh. yeah no in in like I I try to remain like as calm as possible when I'm in front of like people and things like that so yeah that definitely makes sense right uh, I'd also guess that you are more feeling oriented. Yeah, uh, definitely. I, I do see that <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, I, I always like, I always care about people's feelings way too much, uh, way, way too much. I, I, yeah. it's like number one. So yeah, no, that definitely makes sense. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna change my mind on the perceiving. I'm gonna, I think you're more judging as well. Yeah. I think <laughs> <laughs> you saw me looking around at people. <laughs> yeah, uh, not in a bad way. But <laughs> uh, uh, also, I'd say that you are an intuitive. Uh, so more uh, uh, unconventional, try new things, more yeah. original thinking. Yeah, uh, more creative. Yeah. And the last one, I'd say you're an extrovert. Uh, so I'd say that you are relatively people oriented, outgoing and quite active. Yeah, no, I definitely. Yeah, no, I would say I'm kind of more. I, I like being around people and being surrounded by people. So that definitely makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's ENFJ personality type in MBTI. FJ. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. No, because I've never actually like when I look at the tests, I start getting too confused because they ask you too many questions and I just get overwhelmed. <laughs> so that is actually really nice to know for once. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> yeah. If I just explain it a little bit, it's uh, yeah, the ENFJs, they're known for being very interpersonal, good at communication. Uh, they're also known uh, for being quite future oriented, always thinking a step ahead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, they're quite known for being very ethical and like very focused on, you know, being good towards others and like doing the right thing. Um, and the last one, I'd say they're quite opportunity oriented, like see new possibilities and uh, think of like, oh, yeah, this is what, something new I would like to try. This is a new place I'd like to go to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that sounds like me anyway. So yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you sound uh, fairly similar in that regard. Um, yeah. I think perceiving makes more sense uh, yeah. for you over time. Yeah. So I hear it as well. That makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's uh uh, known as the mediator so they're known for being very diplomatic always seeing the other side and that, the view that uh, would make a lot of sense i feel like amongst like a lot of my friends you know we have very contrasting personalities so i'm always the one to be like kind of settling everything between them uh my friends would be like oh kind of mediating the situation like if there's trouble in the house like amongst housemates i'll try be the neutral party to discuss each benefits and disadvantages to each side of kind of friends arguments yeah it sounds very important <laughs> INFPs they're known for being very good listeners and very good at under making other people feel understood they're also known for being quite calm and making other people feel at ease around them very easily yeah they are quite individualistic actually <laughs> so that's an interesting side trick uh, so march to the beat of their own drum I don't yeah. like being told what to do yeah very <laughs> much what, what I'm like I'll try to be understanding but if it's against my own pace I'll leave everyone else to do what they like, but I will always do what I like at the end of the day. That's awesome. Well, thank you both so much. No thank you so much. When I go up to people like this, I have less than a second to try to figure out what kind of a personality type they have. I have to make up my mind on the spot with little information, and so the only things I can look at is the warmth in their eyes or in their cheeks. I can look at how they smile at me, how much and how focused their eyes are compared to how open-minded their expression is, how curious their eyes are,
are, how extroverted and open their eyes and expression is. I look at all these things, but ultimately we have to, to truly know another person, sit down with them and really listen. It takes a lot of time to understand somebody and the truth is no person is a checklist you can just check off. Every single person has their own nuances and their own unique experiences of their personality and how it is to be them. And so the only way to truly get to know somebody is to listen.